Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey Wilson. And I'm Jason Berry. Today we'll be going over some key aspects of HTML widgets, including some of its uses. We will provide examples of some HTML widgets and do an in-depth presentation of a radar chart demonstrating its practical use in team analysis for basketball. The underlying mechanics of an HTML widget are relatively simple and consist of three core components. The dependencies, which are the JavaScript libraries which you are creating widgets for, the R binding, which are the functions you use to input your data for the widget to use, and the JavaScript binding, which is the code that passes your R function to the library and tells the widget what to do. This can create some pretty fantastic tools for data visualization. And here are a few examples. Now for the main event, we will show you how to create a radar chart. A radar chart is an excellent tool used for data visualization of key performance indicators. For example, we will demonstrate how a radar chart could be used to assemble a basketball dream team. First of all, you want to install the HTML widgets and radar chart packages using the install.packages function in R. Don't forget to enable them using the library function seen below. Here you can see the code used to produce the radar chart, as well as the output from the code. The first line sets the scale of your widget, followed by the code which labels the key performance indicators you would like measured. Using a data frame, you can assemble data manually or even pull from an existing data set. As you can see, we measured a variety of basketball skills for four basketball players. The final line of code ensures that the chart is well labeled. The default setting for show tool tip label is false, so it is important to change it to true if you want a well labeled radar chart. The final widget will be interactive and the labels will change depending on where you are holding your cursor. As you move your cursor from three point percentage to rebound score and finally over to assist score, you will be able to look at each player's individual level for that given variable. This will allow you to make an informed decision based on that data visualization. Including a widget such as a radar chart can be very useful in presentation. Including these widgets in your website is as simple as using the code we just discussed in an R block on an R markdown file as illustrated here. This can be very handy with conveying the information you are hoping to present. The viewer can now interact with your data and website in real time. The finished product is shown here as an R Markdown HTML file.